To start, we'll take a look at the Veeam One client. And as you can see, we have a couple Veeam backup for Microsoft 365 servers added in here. I already see that the monitoring is showing where we need to take a look at first, which if we see at the server at the top of the list, we can take a look at the alarms and quickly see what triggered that alarm and some details about that alarm. And in this case, the backup copy job had just taken a little longer than it had expected. On this other server, we can dig in a little deeper and see that we ran into a little bit deeper of an issue with alarms that indicated that the space on the repository had run out in this case. But high level views like this can allow you to see very quickly with notifications on the window if there's any kind of problems. If you need a high level view of your server, you're able to click on any one of these server instances and click on summary, scroll down, and you can see the number of objects being backed up, your job status is whether they're successful or not, and the spaces on your repositories. If you want more in-depth statistics on each of these individual objects, you're able to select those here on the left-hand side and get a little bit more of an in-depth view on each of these objects. Now, based on these objects, we have various alarms that you're able to not only configure, but modify and have actions that are custom to your environment set up in order to get the best monitoring that you need. So we'll start off here and take a look at all of the alarms and say these jobs disabled, whether or not you wanna take a closer look at your licensing, the job state, or even say the repository. If you're interested in getting alerted based off the repository space left, you can edit that alarm and change the thresholds specific to your environment. Now the rules can be defined whether or not it's the percentage left, whether it's below that certain percentage, and you can add additional metrics there. You can assign these to multiple servers in your environment, set up notifications on those different states, have additional actions configured to custom scripts, whether or not you'd like a ticket generated in your ticketing system, set up a webhook, and even things like automated remediation actions. You can even set up suppression windows if you know to suppress during certain times. And if there's additional information, if this alarm is triggered, that's custom to your environment that may be pertinent to the troubleshooting process, you're able to add that information here, whether it's how your environment is configured or the best contact in case this alarm is triggered, everything can be noted in this window. You're also able to clone each of these alarms and add custom configurations to each of these servers in your infrastructure. Now this is the client view of the console, but we do have a web portal. Now this web portal allows us to log in from anywhere, anytime, and give granular access out to different dashboards and a nice easy coffee window. Now this coffee window in this case is the predefined configuration in all defaults but you do have the options to modify and edit each of these to your specific needs, clone each of these dashboards, and have multiple versions to share out to each of the individual stakeholders. And within your reports, you can run custom reports on defined schedules, as well as on demand whenever necessary. 